Colorado is number one in a ranking that we do not want to be number one. There's a new report from the Economic Policy Institute that shows Colorado has the largest pay gap in the country between teachers and other college educated workers. Paying teachers though more is not as simple as just saying we should pay teachers more. Our Marshall Zellinger explains why. Inside the classroom is where futures are made. Students deciding what they want to be when they grow up, like maybe becoming a teacher. That is, if they want to make on average one third fewer dollars than other careers. You know, making a third less pay, that's a humongous amount of money over somebody's career. Sylvia Allegretto is a research associate with the Economic Policy Institute, which just published her report showing Colorado is number one in pay disparity for teachers compared to other professions. In 1996, teachers earned on average 94 cents on the dollar compared to college graduates in other professions. Now, teachers earn 76 cents on the dollar. After all, teachers have the future of the Colorado workforce in front of them every day. It's an opportunity cost. If you decide to be, to work in a different profession and not become a teacher, that's what we're talking about here. I really appreciate the statistics, even though it's so depressing to look at this number. Ginny Huang is the director of the School of Teacher Education at UNC, which churns out the highest number of soon-to-be teachers in the state. And many of them know the stress already, and many of them know the low pay already, and they still come. But I think we have lost tons of potential students who would otherwise want to become teachers. I can give you lots of good reasons to be a teacher. Um, we are, that is the profession upon which all others are built. Colleen O'Neill handles I educator talent with Colorado's Department of Education. Think of any profession. Talent relies on money, salary. Teacher salaries are dictated by local school boards based on the funds they receive, mostly from local property taxes. I think it really is just making sure that there's more equitable distribution of funds um, for those school districts that may not be able to raise the mill levies to be able to pay their teachers differently. We uh, push legislation to create the teacher pay fund. As part of the Colorado Education Association, Amy Baca Olert helped get a bill passed and signed into law that would fund teacher salaries with state money if voters approve a statewide tax increase that has not yet been put on the ballot. I've seen and heard people say, let's just create a GoFundMe and people can contribute their uh, Tabor refund checks to the GoFundMe and then we can fund our schools. Well, that's the point of taxes. That's how we uh, fund our schools. If we want to talk about funding our schools, some of the conversation is about the check you're getting in your mail, that Tabor refund. This would be very controversial, but just picture for a minute, Anusha, if that $750, sorry, $750, I've been told not to say and in between, <laughs> $750 or $1,500 check, let's say you didn't cash that because you never got it back if the mm -hmm. state got to keep that, some would argue, hey, you could solve the education problem. And if people were interested in that, I mean, what does it take? For the state to do away with Tabor, it would take a vote of the people. First, it would have to get on the ballot. You would have a lot of debate about whether or not it's right mm -hmm. for the state to give that money back or for the state to keep it and if the state kept it would they promise would they use it the way they promised that would be the controversy okay let's say people bought into it would the state use it the way they're supposed to that's where i come in five years from now and say ah you're not using it the way you were anyway. yeah you know i mean as somebody who's already seen the magic of a good teacher with my son who's not even one yet this is such an important topic so thank you so much for giving us some context on it